Hey everyone, I've got an alarm clock on the worktop this time, and some crap from dinner. <laughs> right, I think we should open this up. As you can see it works. Ah, set time, hour. Ah! It's not actually the time, but radio tuner on there. That's uh, alarm set. Repeat alarm. Zoom you back out, shall we? Well, that sort of works, but uh, yeah, it's a good aerial, isn't it? Right, so let's open it up. I think it's only four screws. I think I'll be putting this back together because I don't have a use for anything like this. I've got my Lego one on the bedside cabinet. QC Parist. So we'll open this up and I'll see what bits I can salvage from it. So it should be that. So. That looks like it's got a little bit hot there, can you see that? <laughs> so I'm not actually sure I would trust it anyway. Uh, I suppose I'm going to have to take this and this off. Boing! Just making sure there wasn't a screw hidden underneath those feet. So, somehow, this comes apart. I'm not sure how. It must clip somewhere. Is it clip around here? Can I get. Ooh! Ooh! Ow! bits but we're in well I don't intend to put that back together so that can go in the bin. I do however like to keep assorted screws like this because I have found that even though they're like uh, unusual screws that are just used to put different wow what the fucking hell is that look why have I got feeling someone's been in here I'm going to unwrap that because I think someone's been in here and put a new cable on it. Does that look like it's just wrapped in ordinary PVC electrical tape? Uh, 
Well, like I said, I have no plans to put this back together, so... I'm not getting there with my wire cutters either. It's a sealed plug, so <sighs> seriously, that little thing has a one watt speaker. Oh, tiny, absolutely tiny. Is there any screws holding this in? Yes, I see one down there. I think it's part of the circuit board. It might be a separate circuit board. I do love how the radio is done on this. Oh, hang on. Oh, I see. This top one was just clipped in. Go somewhere. I think we're going somewhere. Oh, I see. It's the frickin' antenna wire. Right. Oh. There we go. First part I'm salvaging is that 9 volt battery clip. Always handy to have some of those. We don't need that. Yeah, that's a little radio circuit there. That, that's the volume control for the radio. I've got no idea what this is going to the front, so I'm going to unplug that. Uh, we've got this here. I'm not presuming that this would be power well there's four wires so I'm going to guess live and neutral I'm guessing power is the red one and then a pair of speaker wires to come out to that speaker that is my guess but there's the little tuner dial maybe it's one like that tiny little radio circuit I'm going to try and reuse that so that bit can stay as it is let's just put these screws together Spider skin. The exoskeleton of a spider. Right, this is the bit that's got me intrigued. Has a new cable been put on this? No, it looks like it has been done from the factory and just taped up. It just seems really unusual that the factory did that just ordinary PVC electrical tape but there's proper connections on there these proper connected buffers on here so we've got our transformer here we keep those wires like that because at least I'll know with that transformer which one's positive and which one's negative and then I can just stick my meter on here and see what the outputs are. It seems to have um, multiple taps on this because it's got four wires. So, I'm just going to leave a little, a little nib of wire on here so I know which one's which. Just in case I decide to wire it back up, but it's unlikely. You up just a smidge because you can't see, can you? Right, so we've got a nice little transformer there, salvage. I don't know about this being a nice little speaker, but I'm sure, I can do something with it. And we've got the LED display there. I might take a soldering iron to and properly desolder all that. I'm 
guessing this little black wire on the end is the ground wire. Well, it's either the ground wire or the common live wire. I can't remember how they do it now. I'll have to look it up. But uh, that's the main clock circuit. Not a great deal on here, really, is the. What have we got? I've got that selector switch. I can't remember what that was for. Uh, oh, that's right. It's got the alarm setting and radio settings and whatnot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven little buttons. I could salvage those little buttons off of there, I suppose. But the one thing I'm looking for that I haven't seen on here is the clock crystal. Got clock chip. Unless it's built into that chip, maybe. It might be. What's that got written on it? 3009. I was wondering if it's got a date code on it. Might have in some of this tiny little writing I can see. Oh, it's actually labelled on the board. That's the sleep button. Uh, alarm reset. Snooze. Uh, da -da -da -da. Time set and your hour and minute. I've got time set, alarm set. <laughs> so I've actually labelled it all on the board. And I'm not kidding, there is one that's actually called butt. As in your butt, B U double T, and it's right where my finger is. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> It is right where my finger is. If I do that, that might focus on it. B U double T, it's got written there. Component wise, I'm not sure I'm going to salvage anything off of there. I might salvage the LED display. Ah, there's a big plus up there, so I'm guessing that might be a common positive, maybe. But then again, it's got a positive the other side as well. It's confusing! They haven't used all of the wires either, look. I've got all that section free there and on here. So that must be for a feature that this... Uh, they haven't incorporated on this one. On this particular model. I don't even know what brand it was. What was it? I can find the lid. Boxed. Can't find the lid now. <laughs> right, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not really finding these exciting. <laughs> there's two things I've taken apart. I mean, you know, there's just look at the circuit board. There's just nothing to it. There's a resistor array in here. I think that's what that long thing is. Uh, some electrolytic caps, and one of these has actually gone rusty from the look of it. Yeah, it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine electrolytic caps. There's um, diodes. Some of these, I can't remember what they call those. I think they're capacitors of some description. Another little diode in here, and that's it, and a switch. That is it for the main clock four. This is crap. <laughs> Then of course we've got this, which is the um, radio circuit, which is actually extremely simple as well. We've got the AM coil there, we've got the FM antenna wire there, we've got the thingy wire, we've got the tuner. Um, four electrolytic caps, a varial cap there, or a potentiometer thingy. Not sure what that orange thing is. And we've got um, what look like a couple of chokes, possibly. Just a couple of coils there with some ceramic caps. Quite a few ceramic caps on there. It's just this coil thing here. There's a few of those on there. That is it. I'm guessing pretty much everything is done inside that little... Integrated circuit right there. So I'm guessing this alarm clock probably wasn't that old. I 
Ah, so I'm going to set that way up. Oh, it doesn't say it. It's got two scales, but it doesn't say what they are. Just thought, how do you switch? Well, that's a volume control, but how do you switch? Between the two bands. Oh dear, I think I actually broke the switch. I think it's that. Yep, it is that. Uh, oopsie! Well, I can still use it because I can switch it with that. <laughs> I'll have to, if I find another one, I'll put another one on. Anyway, a short, sweet video. <laughs> I'll find something else to go take apart now. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found the video interesting. If you didn't, give me a dislike. And uh, we'll talk to you all again soon. Bye!